No. no. That, that isn't going to happen for a while. What a, when you look at that group, what do you like about it right now here in June? Uh, they're all athletic. They're all working hard. And I think they've taken it to heart to support each other. You know, that's really important. You know, we play a pretty high pressure position. It's good they support each other. So that, that's been good. Those, those, uh, I'm excited about that. What are the things you will specifically be looking at when you get back to fall camp that will separate and eventually make your decision? Their performance on the field through practice. You know, and can they command the offense? Do they have a mastery of everything that we're doing? I think those uh, those sorts of things and how they perform from practice to practice, and um, that'll be a, a big factor. But then along with that, you know, um, sometimes uh, what has to happen is how they practice. If that ends up happening uh, in terms of uh, one guy getting a nod over another, then that has to happen on uh, on game day as well. You know, uh, some guys, as you know, can be pretty good practice players and then for whatever reason you know game day it 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 doesn't look quite the same and so that has to translate so it's an evaluation process that is going to go through obviously fall camp and then uh, even during the season but by and large more often than not uh, a young guy regardless of his age at the quarterback position will, will typically perform game day like he does in practice for the most part it's rare that the other would, would happen differently. Is the situation pretty similar to your first year at Central Florida? Mackenzie Milton was a true freshman. You had another veteran guy there as well, and you kind of had to weigh that at how you wanted to manage that going into your first season at a new school. Well, it's different for a variety of reasons, uh, one of which is that Mackenzie was not with us in, in, uh, in spring ball. That's the first <laughs> most important factor. The second factor is where there isn't a veteran returning. There isn't a player in our room that's taken a snap yet. So that's, that, that is completely different. There's, from the standpoint of having a young guy uh, like Adrian come in, that, that piece of the puzzle is certainly similar, yeah. Kind of sticks out to you on film when you watch Tristan and Adrian play that they have to be better come fall. And then I'm sorry? Games. What kind of sticks out when you watch Tristan and Adrian play from a uh, just, I guess, an execution perspective? What do they have to be better? Well, I, you know, through spring ball, they, they – perform uh, well and I and I think w what you you have to remember is you know it's Adrian and Tri don't forget about Andrew Bunch now you know he did a nice job in spring and he had a nice spring game and you got to remember he was competing against uh, our quote-unquote first defense and so on and so forth um, but uh, I think for those guys, you know, it's, it's just a matter of experience and getting reps because every experience is, is new within the framework of the offense they're learning. And they both, all, all of them started from the ground up. So there really wasn't an advantage with regards to, um, well, someone's been here before and all that sort of stuff. But just getting settled into um, the offense and so that you, you, you gain sort of a, a memory bank if you will, of experiences. Oh, I've seen that before. I know exactly what to do. You, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that, that, that part of it will come, no doubt. And uh, I suspect that they're going to be much more effective and efficient early on in fall camp just because of the experience that they had in spring ball. We never asked you this before, but when Scott was at Oregon, can't ask me now. <laughs> when, when he was at Oregon all those years, um, yeah. and the, I mean, how much did you guys stay in touch? And how did you reconnect to get to UCF when he when he took that job? Uh, we, you know, we would communicate, you know, but you know, you're always busy, so uh, I would text him, or and he would get back to me, and so on and so forth. If I had a question about one thing or another, or vice versa. But then when he took over as um, as the quarterback coach and offensive coordinator, he called me up and wanted me to fly back out for about four days, and we spent a lot of time together and had a, a good time talking about quarterback play and all that sort of business, you know, that was awesome. And then um, I was able to uh, get information from him about uh, what they did on offense, so that was awesome because I wanted to take that back and start developing that with our, with our team back at Northern Iowa. So um, that's kind of when it started to happen. So, you know, when it all shakes out, <laughs> maybe that maybe those four days were the – a friggin' interview, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was, I don't know, but anyhow. Yeah.
Coach Frost has been everywhere. I mean, he's in the Grand Canyon. He's getting national. Yeah, yeah. How do you think he's handling all this since you've known him uh, a long time, more than, than us on a personal level? How do you think he's handling all this non-X and O stuff? Oh, I, I, I from – my perspective, you know, you guys know Frosty as well as anybody as a player. He was unflappable, right? And so I haven't noticed any change in him in any way, shape, or form. He is still the same way he was even when I remember him back at Northern Iowa, you know. So I haven't noticed any change whatsoever. You were thinking about that all you guys were at Northern Iowa, uh, <laughs> DeWitt. And yeah, Peter myself and, and Chins and DeWitt. Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy, right? It's interesting. Um, so it was, it was good uh, from that standpoint, at least for me. Uh, you know, I had some familiarity with, with Chins and, and with uh, Coach DeWitt. So that was, that was, that was, that was fun. And then obviously I got a chance to know Coach Walters and the rest of the guys on the staff and to find out they're tremendous ball coaches, you know. So it's, it's been good. Have there been any standouts on the team that you've been noticing over, well, since this past spring, I guess? Me personally? Yeah. Oh, you know, I, I get so focused on just the guys that I coach. Mm -hmm. It's almost like I have no idea what the hell else is going on. So, I mean, it's all about those guys for me. You know, I don't, I don't look at it like Coach Walters is our coordinator. So he takes a more global uh, sort of uh, perspective and evaluation. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, it's my job just to ensure that our quarterbacks can bring his vision of a game plan to life. That's, that's what – we we've got to be able to do in in, in our room, you know. Um, so I, it's mostly just focused on my guys. Yeah.